Hey there everyone, what is going on and thank you for checking out today's video. As you can tell by the title, today I have a little experiment planned. Last week when DJI unveiled the new Osmo Pocket, I instantly fell in love with this product. Now, I've had a great experience with DJI products over the previous years and I could see the new Osmo Pocket's potential instantly. One thing that stuck with me, however, was the auto editing function that they included. Now, this is nothing new considering the DJI apps have had this feature in the past. Apple has had a similar auto edit feature in photos for the past couple of years as well. So for today's video, I wanted to test out some of these auto editing features. So I decided to take some drone footage from an episode of Adventure Wednesday that we filmed up in Vermont. If you guys want to check out that episode in its entirety, click the link up above or down below in the description. Using the same exact footage, I ran it through both the DJI app and also Apple Photos to auto generate a short film. At the same time, I chose a short 30-ish second song and gave myself a half hour to edit that same exact footage. Now, starting off with Apple, I went into Photos to choose the file that I wanted the phone to auto generate a film to. Now, I've discovered this thing inside of Apple before where it auto generates a film either based on your location or based on a certain time of year and gives that to you. But I have never personally been able to find a menu where you can go in there and recreate it. So after a little playing around and figuring out what was going on, I eventually chose a section of clips that it had provided for me and removed all of the footage that wasn't the single clip that I wanted to use to create this movie. And this is the final result. Moving on to the DJI app, I chose the same exact footage, which was a lot easier than Apple, and I let it produce this movie. I think the DJI app was more user friendly in terms of just choosing whatever footage you wanted and letting it happen. My personal opinion, I think that these work well in theory, however, I still feel as though they need a couple more years of development. Now this makes me wonder, will there ever be a day where a movie studio can film an entire movie, throw everything into a computer to have it auto-generate a full-length feature blockbuster film that would go on to win awards? We'll just have to wait and find out, but anyways guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I want to know from you guys down below in the comment section, which app did the better job of auto-generating a film? If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know and give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Thank you guys once again very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next upload. Peace. Yeah.